Welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. Today we're going to do something special. This is Tire Fire. It's an American single malt whiskey, and it says on the front that it's punkishly peated. 91 proof. And uh, it's made by the ASW Distillery in Atlanta, Georgia. Distilled and bottled by them. So they're actually making it. 45 ppm. That's how peaty the Scotch Mar Scottish malt is that we use to make tire fire. It's daring. It's aggressive. It's a beast. Even if you don't like it, you'll respect it. For the select few who share their breakfast with bears, who hydrate with tankards of seawater, who like their whiskey with all the peat that can be seared into a single dram, tire fire is you, for you. The nose is a bouquet of barbecue. The palate whisks you to a salt sprayed islands in the far north. The smoky finish, like the Northwest Passage, lasts a brief eternity. At its delicious heart, tire fire is the very best kind of fire. Dram on, if you dare, for the pioneer in you. Somebody had fun writing that. <sighs> Peated whiskeys are not for everybody. Not everybody loves them. And I have to say that when I first got into scotch, peated scotches were not my thing. Uh, the first peated scotch that I ever had was Peat Week, Balvenie, 14 year Peat Week. And the first time I tried it, I thought I was going to throw up. I hated it. Hated it. But I couldn't stop thinking about it for weeks. So a week later, I tried it again, still hated it. Couldn't stop thinking about it. I could still taste it on my tongue days later. Two weeks in, tasted it. It's starting to grow on me a little bit. Three weeks in, it was growing on me a lot. So by week four, I went out and bought a bunch of other peated whiskeys and uh, tried everything from Ardbeg to Lagavulin to Lafroy. Oof. Port Charlotte, Octomore. I went down all the rabbit holes. So, this is an American single malt whiskey, highly peated with Scottish barley. Let's smell. They aren't wrong. The barbecue notes are there. The burnt ends, burnt chicken ends. Burnings of pork, S totally smoky, leather, um, leather like I get on um, Warbringer and on the MB Roland. It's a little bit of that tire fire. There's a little bit of a rubber, burnt rubber note. It's funny that they named it that. I love it. As soon as I saw this bottle at Total Wine the other day, I had to grab it. As soon as I saw Tire Fire, I got to know what that tastes like. So I grabbed it. <sighs> There's a sweetness behind all that smoke. Very creamy, honeyed, <sighs> cherry. I get a hint of a flowery note, like almost, almost lavender. Weirdly enough, behind that. <sighs> Crusty burnt bread. <sighs> oh, yeah, the crusty burnt bread that my buddy Dave does on his green egg. Butter it. Crispy. Oof. Baguette on the barbecue grill. Oh man, let's taste. Mmm. Oh. The smoke in this, while it is high, is not overly aggressive. It's there, it's gorgeous, but underneath that is just layer upon layer of sweet caramel, honey. Molasses. 
You go back to the nose and it's the leather. Oh. I know there's no corn in this because this is all barley. This is American single malt. But for some reason, I get a corn note, a dusty corn note. Makes no sense. I don't know why I'm getting it, but to me, it's there. I know there's no corn in this bottle, but it's still. Oh. That is just lovely. If you like smoke, it's so weird. I know this is an American single malt. I know this is made with Scottish barley, but this hits me like a smoked bourbon. It totally is giving me all the flavors of smoked bourbon. If you put this in a lineup with MB Roland and Warbringer, two bourbons, smoked bourbons, you wouldn't think this was out of place. Maybe I need to do that. Maybe I should do that. Taste them against each other. But my recollection of those two, I would not expect this to be out of the same genre. There's a little bit of wintergreen on the nose. There's a little effervescence, a little wintergreen, a little mintiness. Like you ate barbecue and then popped in a breath mint. A wintergreen breath mint. Wintergreen lifesaver or whatever. It's not as strong as Altoids. It's more like lifesaver. Not lifesaver. Yeah, lifesaver. A wintergreen lifesaver. Oh, that's just... That's just gorgeous to drink. <laughs> oh, man. If you see one, grab it. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, have a great day.